that's based out of Taji um, in Iraq. A mental health specialist. Part of my duty there was mental health intakes for soldiers, give classes. Coming home, and it's now you got a whole different range of stress. It was pretty stressful being a single mom for a year. We developed quite a bond, which was stressful when he got back, trying to transition him back into our relationship. Year spent apart is a huge difference. Everyone's gonna be changed that's been involved. It's sometimes it's just a matter of time. Sometimes it's just talking things out. Guys, we, you know, we don't uh, tend to say how we feel. It's nice for everyone to get together and bounce their feelings and ideas off each other. You kind of think that what you're going through is something that no one else is going through. Then you get together and you're like, wow, <laughs> we're completely normal. You can let down some of the barriers and say, we got some issues. Maybe it's about time we can get this out on the table and maybe save our family or save our marriage. It's awesome. All these volunteers and all these people that are here just for us, for our well-being and our happiness, and it feels really good. Lines changed my life through Project New Hope. Words can't express the gratitude I have for Lions Club International, Bruce Billington, and the volunteers from District 5M9 at Project New Hope who made this all possible. This camp allows vets and their families a place to relax without worrying about what the kids are getting into or how can we afford this. Oftentimes, when a service member comes home from a deployment, they have new battles to face. These battles aren't fought with bullets or bombs, but with words or even silence. They aren't fought on forward operating bases against the enemy, but in our homes and with our families or at our jobs with our coworkers or bosses. I can speak from personal experience that soldiers don't always open up about our problems. Michelle and I got a lot of, out of the group discussions and came to realize that the issues we were dealing with weren't exclusive to us. This wasn't group therapy. It was a chance for vets to get together and hang out, have fun, and share their stories. At our last retreat, we had the great experience of meeting other vets who fought in Vietnam, Korea, and World War II. Maya made new friends, caught several fish, and had a great time doing arts and crafts projects. Project New Hope is an invaluable resource for all combat vets from every generation and from all walks of life. The impact that Project New Hope has is tremendous, and it is imperative that vets in all 50 states and all Canadian provinces have access to this retreat. Thank you. <laughs>